Hi everyone, I'm Coach Amy and I'm here to bring you all things nutrition. Today I want to talk a little bit about the problem with cheat days. So what exactly is a cheat day? A cheat day is that day where you decide, you know, I did really well with all my workouts this week, I ate great, I ate balanced meals, and I'm going to take this day to really treat myself and eat all of my favorite foods. So there's two major problems with cheat days. Number one, the term cheat is often associated with shame and guilt. When it comes to fueling and nourishing our bodies, we should never be ashamed or guilty of the foods that we eat. We need to be enjoying them. Also, if weight loss is your goal, too many cheat days can put a major hindrance on hitting your goals. Here for you, I have a little nutrition math lesson. In order to lose one pound of body weight, you need to burn 3,500 calories. So in other words, you need to burn 3,500 more calories than you're consuming in order to lose that one pound of body weight. If you break that down over the course of one week, you'll need to burn 500 more calories than you consume each day in order to lose that one pound, and this is what's known as a calorie deficit. So say for instance, my daily calorie burn is 2,000 calories. And you need to know that when it comes to your daily calorie burn, this is gonna be different for everyone. There's a lot of different factors that play into this, including your age, your weight, your height, your sex, um, your daily activity level. And this is where a nutrition coach is gonna be very helpful because they're gonna really be able to help you hone in on those numbers. Okay, back to my example. So say my daily calorie burn is 2,000 calories. That means in order for me to lose one pound, I should be consuming about 1,500 calories per day. All right, so I go the entire week. I eat my 1,500 calories per day. I get all my workouts in. I do really well. And then I decide I'm going to have my ultimate cheat day. So what I have here, this is where I listed all of my favorite foods. If I had a day where I was going to eat whatever I wanted, this is going to be it right here. I tallied up the totals at the end, and if I were to eat all of this food, my total intake for the day would be nearly 4,200 calories. Basically, I would be setting myself back and undoing all of my hard work that I did throughout the entire week. I would be starting back at square one and could possibly not lose that week. So here's what I like to do instead of a full cheat day. I like to use what I call our craving meals, and what a craving meal is, essentially, it's the foods that you crave but maybe have them once or twice per week. So I know for sure one or two times per week, I'm gonna have the foods that I really want, and this way I'm not gonna feel deprived or restricted in any way. The other thing that I like to do leading up to these meals, you know, you could really help take care of yourself, to drink all your water, get your water intake in. The other meals surrounding that craving meal, make them very protein and veggie heavy. I'll make sure I get some movement in for the day. You know, maybe exercising a little bit, make you feel a little better, get your digestive juices flowing. So those are just a couple little action steps you can take surrounding those meals to make you feel a little bit better. Now I do have some final love notes and reminders. Take the time to enjoy the food you love. Chew them slowly and savor your meals. Don't rush through. Be mindful of your meals throughout the remainder of the week. This way when you do have those craving meals, you have a little bit of wiggle room to work with. And last but not least, do not restrict or deprive yourself. Food is meant to be enjoyed, so by all means enjoy. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you got some good info out of this. Thanks.